Thank you for being here. Uh, we talk English today, I heard, so I just want to introduce myself. I'm Niels Fram. I'm uh, by now, maybe I can say, a friend of uh, Michael and uh, Mark, the founders of uh, this wonderful product, which is uh, the AM1. In my opinion, the best analog mixing desk which is out there today. And uh, I can already share that for my next concerts, which are in uh, autumn, I decided to bring that beast on tour with me. And uh, I just wanted to say uh, why um, and talk a little bit about it and why I love it so much. And so maybe we close it all. Um, so yeah, generally, I bring my studio on the road with me, so I play synthesizers and uh, pianos, acoustic instruments, but also electronic instruments. And uh, I use a lot of uh, analog effect units like delays or reverbs, classic stuff, usually from the 80s, uh, common things, uh, which I bring in the rack. So I, I, I basically try to make that studio on stage as good sounding but also as small as possible and uh, before I had the opportunity to use this wonderful product I used just a 19 uh, inch rack mixer a PV or Crest type which was good but constantly breaking so like every sound check we had some problems and uh, initially I wanted to have uh, this desk for my studio um, in the studio, I already, like two years before, we, we rebuilt a nice Neumann, old Neumann desk, so we, we already had one. And so this was now spare to take on the road. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm already rehearsing with it for the last three months, and I can definitely promise it sounds so much better than my old mixing desk and pretty much any signal pass I have. Uh, it is right up there with all the really, really good things like Neumann or old broadcasting equipment or you name it. I, I just, I'm incredib incredibly impressed by the sound or the no sound of the EQ. No matter what you want to, how you want to tweak your signal, you will always find the right combination of the knobs to make the signal sound right in your mix. And all the handling is so much more efficient than on my old Neumann desk, I feel like I really would like to change this desk also for my old broadcasting table, even though the, the sound is really good of these old transformer-based mixing desks, I prefer this at this point because it just, everything is at the right spot. Every AUX has a, uh, there are six AUXs and every has a pre-fader, um, you can turn the AUX off so you don't need to turn the knob down and you no, never know where the knob was. And like all these little details which you don't expect from a mixing desk, but they're there without cluttering it up, without making it feel like it's too complicated, but giving you so much more functions uh, makes it very addictive to work with it. And so I'm here to state that and, and really like give my, all my thumbs up for that. And uh, yeah, that's the story. And uh, yeah, we're just about to start. So for the next two years, I'm going to travel with that. And um, I have high hopes that after that, I will say the same, but even probably louder. And so I'm really looking forward. And I want to say thank Michael and Mark for taking on the uh, endeavor to design such a complicated and really thought through product. And um, yeah. Oh, wow. So there was everything in there. Uh, no more questions. No, I, but maybe maybe you guys have questions uh, about my work or about the desk or about uh, the usability of it. If you're interested in anything, please hit me because now I'm really in the workflow of it or I can show you one or two things if you're interested, but uh, tell me. Yeah. Um, in the end, yes. Unfortunately, I was recording a lot through the old mix as well. When I was saying, I, I, before this, I had uh, um, an APB desk, which is a fraction of the price, but also not as good sounding. But I would always use the direct outs of that. And so, yeah, the, the mixer is 
part of the next album for sure because this is in the in the recording room where all my instruments are connected to that and the great thing about the AM1 is is that you can use groups so you have um, eight mono groups or four stereo groups to use to group effects or whatever you want to record and then you have multiple options to record direct uh, signals um, again more options than you would normally expect from mix mixing desk which makes it so attractive for me to use it yeah i can probably say some some more good things about the desk i don't have anything bad to say if you have that question in mind uh, i probably don't have that but you what else can i tell you Um, I have it for almost two years, but uh, actively I'm using it for the last half year. Um, and yeah, I think that's it. Uh, switching it. Switching it out for the small one was a little bit of a step to take because the only, the only thing which, which could be more easy for us if it was a little bit smaller. Um, but uh, yeah, if you bring a Fender Rhodes or a piano, you can easily justify bringing something like this. And they come in, in different frame sizes, so you can also get smaller frames. I think the smallest frame is basically half of this. Yeah, even less. Yeah. Or even less. So if you just need eight channels in the master or whatever, uh, there's a lot of flexibility. You can probably also maybe produce a double, double the size if you want to. I would recommend that. One more question. I just got in one minute ago. So yeah. you got a lot of the subject. You're in Islam, right? Yeah, exactly. I'm. 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 I'm, I'm here to. I'm here to promote this wonderful product because, uh, yeah, it's um, it's just really close to my heart. For all melody, you have like you have a custom built mixer that was built for you. Is it this one or is this another one? Um, if yes, how is it compared to the mixer you used before? That's a good question. So right now in my in my uh, studio, I use for the. Um, for for mixing my albums, I use a self-made mixing desk, which is on the basis of Neumann summing amps, uh, and they are transformer-based summing amps, and 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 the, the the Neumann faders as well. It's the W444 faders. They're very nice. Everything is really tr heavy. It's transformer-based, so the whole mixing desk is around 900 kilos or something. And and, uh, and this this really is about I would say 80, and so um, I think you could even say that my Neumann desk sounds a little bit heavier. Really, okay. it's not only the weight; you can really feel the transformers being slower. Mm -hmm. um, that is not always a good thing. Some some sometimes it really. If you drive the master a little bit hotter and you give all the signals quite hot on my Neumann desk, uh, the old one I'm having, um, then the whole thing starts to sweat. Okay. It, it, you, you, feel, you feel it sweat, but it will never sound nasty. It's, it's wonderful. So I would say it's, it's much more coloring the mix than this would ever do. But nonetheless, I just compared this I, I was listening in my rehearsals, I was just listening to the, to the master. So I summed everything, all my, my, my equipment, I listened to the master, to the PA, and rehearsed a couple months. And then recently my, my front of house engineer came in, and now we are using the direct outs of each individual channel for him to have it in the concert being the front of house desk. He has some control if he wants to make the roads louder or the reverbs or whatever. So he is at the best, so it's, it's necessary to do that. But when I heard this in my studio, because now we, we put his desk in place, the sound was ruined for me. So like, and, and we used the best digital console there is on the market for me. It's a stage tech console. It's really high-end broadcasting stuff. They use it in Philharmonies. They use it in, in broadcasting stations. It, it, there's nothing better, I think. Uh, but even though it's a really good digital product, the, the master here sounds like the music comes together. So if I, it's the same analog desk experience, uh, which which you would expect from analog desks. So you can really drive the sound depending on what you do with the levels. Yeah. The level, the level really do the thing. That that that. 
that that's always that that's always a bad sign. No, when I, when I don't put the price, that it must it must be it must be expensive. Then we're talking about like uh, buying a car or buying a desk. I would always buy a desk. You can always take a bicycle. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, no. I think I think especially in Berlin, you can uh, you you can't compare it to flats. No. <laughs> but several desks or flats. <laughs> you can always start with one channel, you know, because it's modular. <laughs> and for 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 each Christmas, you get one more. Or you sell a little bit of your analog equipment. You know, you don't need so many modules. Sell these modules. Get this. <laughs> <laughs>